Hey guys, this is Danny from Mobility Digest. I just want to give you a quick tour of Windows 8. This is the developer preview. So this is the screen you're going to be greeted with when you first uh, log in to Windows 8. As you can see, it's mostly just tiles. Um, if you're familiar with Windows 8 at all, you should expect this. It's very similar to Windows Phone, the way Windows Phone 7 has their, their start screen laid out. Um, as you can see, the widgets, uh, the stock ticker is flipping between the Dow and the NASDAQ and whatnot. Uh, up here you have the, the weather for San Jose, California. Um, so if you want to modify any of the tiles, you want to right click it. Um, I'm assuming this would be different if you had a tablet with touch screen and probably tap and hold. Um, I do not. So if you right click the mouse, you'll get this uh, taskbar down here. You can make it smaller. Um, you can remove it or you can unpin it. Uh, let's go ahead and change that back. Uh, for this is, it's different if you have like say for example, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, if you right click the Near Me app, you get the uninstall instead of the remove. I'm not entirely sure what the difference is, um, probably because this is an extra app and I think the the uh, weather app is probably built into Windows 7, so um, I'm guessing that's a difference. The store tile doesn't launch anything, uh, probably because the store is not up. Uh, Windows Explorer launches Explorer, I mean, um, yeah, uh, the Explorer, not the Internet Explorer, but just for viewing your files. There is a new control panel interface, which is quite interesting. <clears throat> um, this is, this is not the full control panel. This is just like your basic settings. So you could personalize your wallpaper. Um, there's lock screen notifications. I don't have any apps that you can put there, but essentially they're like widgets um, that you could you could put on your, your lock screen. Um, you can change your user tile, whatnot. Um, these are your user settings, your notification. Oh, sorry, I skipped it. Wireless, there's airplane mode. It's probably more for tablets with 3G capability and whatnot. <clears throat> um, or just when you're on an airplane, obviously, but uh, notifications, you can turn off notifications globally or you can shut them off per app um, that supports a notification. It's quite nice in case you have an app that insists on doing pop-ups like a lot of uh, trial or free software will do. Um, privacy settings, time zones, there's a, another section for touchpad or stuff with uh, touch sensitive uh, screens. Down here you'll see a refresh your PC without affecting your files. Uh, this essentially will uh, reload Windows, but it will leave your user files untouched. Uh, I haven't tried it. Uh, if you guys give it a shot, you know, shoot us a comment and uh, let us know how it works. Below that, you'll see reset your PC and start over. That, from what I've read, this is essentially um, if you were to reset your phone to um, factory defaults, um, it'll wipe everything other than what's supposed to be there on Windows. Um, it's quite interesting. Uh, so, seems cool if you know you were giving your PC to somebody else and you know. You wanted to get rid of all your stuff, but you know, leave Windows untouched. That's where you'd go. Uh, below that is search. Uh, where does you know uh, what apps will appear in your search bar? I'll show you that in a second. Uh, there's share where where uh, what apps will appear appear in the share pane. Uh, sending ease of access. Uh, these are the devices here that are hooked up. Home group don't have any. Windows is up to date, obviously, because there aren't any updates. Um, and the last one will launch you into the old school control panel interface. Um, they've actually changed some of the settings. They've added other features and whatnot. I'm not going to go into that. It's more extensive and time consuming than I'm prepared to do in this video. <coughs> um, maybe in another video or if you guys can go through it and find all the, the tweaks. Um, down here you'll see if you mouse over the bottom left hand corner you'll get the time on the bottom right with the date and whatnot. Um, on the left you'll see search, share, devices, and settings. <coughs> um, Let's just go ahead and if you click the start menu, you'll get brought to here, brought back to the start menu, sorry. Um, and at any given time, you can just you can basically just switch back and forth. Um, if you mouse over to the left side of the window, you'll see that there's a thumbnail of my desktop. It'll actually show you whatever application you had open last. And that if you click on it, it'll switch back to that. And so and if you notice, the next thumbnail is the control panel. So it's just, it's just cycling through all of it. Uh, Alt-Tab works the same as it always has. Um, Nothing, nothing too special there. Uh, just notes. Let's get back to uh, start the screen. Um, the weather app. I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. It's quite nice. Uh, if you right-click inside of here, you'll be brought to this this uh, task bar. You can unpin a city, remove cities. Uh, you can see the start menu popping up when I went too far to the, le the lower left-hand corner. Uh, this will find your current city if you have a GPS or a GPS. Um, 
you add a city manually, summary, different views and whatnot. Uh, the, these icons will vary depending on the app. It's whatever the developer puts down there. Uh, get back to the start screen, just hit the Windows key. Internet Explorer 10 has nice integration with uh, Windows 8. Let me give you a show. Uh, if you notice, there's nothing up top here other than the web page. And down below, you'll find uh, the URL. This is quite similar to how uh, Windows Phone 7's web browser is uh, or will be after uh, the Mango update. <clears throat> so uh, if you click on the URL bar, you'll, you'll be greeted with um, your frequent web uh, websites and whatever you've pinned. Um, you can go back. And if you notice, now that I've clicked on somewhere on the screen, that the taskbar is completely gone. It's, it's full screen view only. Uh, if you right click anywhere on the screen, you'll be you'll get your your list of tabs up here, and you'll you'll get the URL bar down here. Um, other than the normal back button over on the left side, the refresh button on the right. Next to it, there's a tack uh, or a push pin. Um, click that. Basically, it pins you know your site to the start menu. You'll get a tile on the front page um, with whatever you can rename it, uh, whatever you want, and it'll kind of give you a preview of of uh, what it'll say on the tile on top. So you don't want that. Um, click this, you can find stuff on the page or you can switch to desktop view, which will take you to the Windows 7 interface and will bring out the uh, Explorer in that. Um, other than that, nothing really special there. If we go back to the start menu, you'll see um, that I've installed uh, Office 2010. I didn't have any problems installing Office 2010. I didn't have any problems installing uh, anything else uh, on the left you can see I installed uh, VMware Workstation, uh, VLC Media Player, Ultra SO, Chrome, Firefox, TeamViewer. Um, none of these had any issue installing. I installed all the drivers I found from the Dell website for this uh, this particular machine. All the drivers ran and installed fine. The NVIDIA card, uh, the drivers installed fine with that as well. Didn't have any problems there. Um, if you look at, if you click the Wi-Fi, um, you'll see that this has changed. Um, there's a nifty little uh, added stuff. Hide estimated use data, uh, estimated data usage. Sorry about that. Um, when reduced data usage, these are probably more useful for people with uh, 3G network cards, uh, where you want to monitor or limit your data use. Um, let's go back to the start menu. Um, these are just the other apps. I'm not going to go through all of them. There's there's quite a few as you can see. All the new stuff you install will populate on the right side. Uh, you can you can remove it unpin it you can do it there's an advanced option just run run as administrator open file pin to taskbar up top you have change user tile lock log off add a user the current start screen doesn't support uh, at least not not for my my pc without touch uh, a touch screen you ha i have to use this scroll bar down here um, some of the other people on mobility digest have had issues uh, launching applications from the start menu and it was discovered that uh, the issue was the native resolution or whatever not the native sorry about that uh, the default resolution it was set to is just too low so if i set the resolution 800 by 600 and um, let's keep that go back to the start menu you'll see that i cannot launch the weather app it just won't launch um, the reason is it just requires a high resolution i recommend you set it to whatever your native screen is and they should launch no problem so if we go back, you'll see that the weather app now launches without a hitch. Some other interesting things I found, the task manager has undergone some changes at the wrong spot. Um, let's go back. So this is how it is by default. It'll just show you a list of everything you have running, uh, more details to expand it. As you can see, uh, Internet Explorer suspended, the Near Me app is suspended, Note Space is suspended. Uh, these will not take up uh, any more CPU usage, which is nice, uh, keep performance running at higher speed. Uh, the RAM is over here, this network usage. Um, as you can see, they're, they're, they're color coded depending on how much uh, system resources they're using. So the more system resources, the darker the color, as you can see very clearly with the, the memory over here with Internet Explorer uh, using the most, most RAM. Uh, you can expand it to see uh, which ones, if you have more than one Word document, you can see what's, what's under here. Uh, doesn't look like they're showing uh, how much memory is using usage for each uh, instance, uh, but maybe maybe later down the road they'll they'll have that. I'll click over here, you can see performance, uh, the CPU for the graph, uh, memory usage, 
uses 1.9. Um, this might be due to me recording, but even without recording, I think it's around 1.8. So you must have a significant amount of RAM before you install Windows 8 or intend to run it with any kind of uh, decent performance. This right here will show you your app history, what's running or what has run, how long it was running for, uh, how much network you know uh, usage you had, etc. This is what set to start. Uh, it tells you how much impact it has on the system performance, a list of users, uh, what they've used, details, services.